Well, good morning, Vietnam. No, it's not Vietnam. It is Penzance, and it's a Friday morning. I felt slightly groggy this morning because I was out playing last night in a pub. Had a couple of red wines afterwards, and um, very enjoyable it was too. Of course, the downside is that it makes you feel slightly groggy in the morning. So getting started is always difficult. But that's the real world at um, sorry that I inhabit. So, so I'm cracking on with this big one, and boy, oh boy, is it taking time? Of course it is. That's going to be natural. And the secret is just chip away at it. Chip, 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 chip away at it. Um, that's the only secret that I've discovered. Just put the paint on the brush and go for it. That is also the secret to finding inspiration. It is most certainly found in putting paint on a brush and starting and making lots of mistakes. Sometimes covering up and going over and starting again. At least you're working, you're clocking in. And then hopefully you know, I started on Monday after a two week break and I was kind of slightly scared really of getting back in again. You know, and started thinking, oh no, you know, it's hard work painting. I mean, it is hard work, believe me. Um, well, maybe it's not as hard as digging trenches on the road. Um, But if you want to be... Well, anyway, I'm not going to go on about that. So, just plugging away at it. Brushes are a little bit scraggy. I might need to go and get some new, some new brushes because they're looking a little bit on the scraggy side. And uh, See that? Yes. Okay. Just uh, working away at it. I love that cobalt. No, I've always loved this colour. This cobalt is just like one of the best colours in the world. But this, I use a little bit on this painting with these oranges and yellows and reds because green is the complementary colour rather than blue. So I should be using green rather than blue. Just chip away. That's it. Bit by bit, trying to. And what I'll do is, a lot of these bright colours, afterwards I'll glaze over it with ultramarine and uh, burnt umber and a little bit of magenta or possibly a raw sienna. Uh, so that it all comes in, all comes together and um, blends in. If you can see what I'm doing there, can you see what I'm doing there? Can you, yeah, probably, just about. Let's see what I'm doing there. Just uh, letting the picture tell me as I go along what needs to be done. Not thinking too hard, but still. It's a, it's a balancing act. I don't want to get one thing. I don't want to do is go too dark. And I've done that before in this painting. It was gone too dark. So keep it bright. I'd rather be bringing it down than having to paint and bring it up. So at the same time, making sure that I'm not slipping or leaning like the Leaning Tower of Pisa on the last one of these that I did. Because my eyesight isn't as good as it was, uh, you know, wearing, wearing glasses, uh, the painting actually tipped. You know, it's a lot of work to get it to. And what am I going to do in there? I don't know, not the obvious thing. But I'm not 
So I've got to have primed up another board. Well, I've gone, I've gone over an old board. What can I do in there? So I can uh, start my new painting, which will be a Ganamara cache with a pool in the middle. A square one with a pool smack bang in the middle. So it's all centred around a nice, refreshing swimming pool with palms. It's starting to look good. Again, I think I'll have greens and blues. So, um, watch that. There you go. Okay, coming on. Uh, also up here we've got quite large areas we might have to be worked into. Um, okay, I'll do for today I think. Anything else I can add to this? Well, shadows, I don't know. Not some shadow area, they've got a sun up there so you will definitely have shadows. There's a shadow. There should really be a shadow under that. I've got that pinky shadow, but something other would be better, I think. Um, scraggy down there. Not sure what's going on there, but just having that one line like that is a little bit of a swears, make it nice and tight. Make it all tight. Should go along. Uh, in there as well, I'm not sure. Comfortable with that. We got a nice line going in there. See, the brushes really are getting a little bit worn. When you're uh, painting an acrylic, the water isn't really doesn't like uh, acrylic. I don't think. If you leave the brushes, particularly overnight, it's not good. <coughs> See this because it's a bit low. Right, okay, so that, 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 that needs to be gone over again. Using uh, gesso for my white, I've been doing that for a long time, and using uh, artist quality white for the um, for going over the white, so white on white, which I like. <clears throat> can you see this? Look at it slightly. I've got a trip oh, no, you can see it definitely. Um, it's not now I'm gonna try something new, I'm putting a white on a white, which is a little thing I like doing. Let's see if it'll work. See that? Doesn't look always go over it. This beauty of acrylic. Oh god, that's your brush, it's not a very good brush. Yeah, it's gonna work. Well, it's not the best. Sometimes at least you can get the idea in and you can go over it. And I am toying with the idea of doing a, one of these in oil. My love, hatred for oil. I do love it, but boy, is it a hard medium to use. It takes forever. This is just so easy to use. Especially if you varnish over it, which is what I've been doing, it just looks fantastic. 
Is that working? Yes, it probably is. I need to be cleaned up quite a lot. Um, okay, that'll do it.